Hello and welcome to my channel where we discuss the PAL platform. In today's episode we're going to have a look at the PL600 Microsoft PAL platform solution architect exam. Um, so yeah, I'm going to run through a few topics and how I revise for it. Something I wanted to say in this video is it's okay to fail. Um, so this exam took me more than one uh, attempt and that's okay because when you do a um, an event or an event, uh, a take of the exam, sometimes you just learn what's what's kind of missing and what you need to, to understand before doing the exam again. So it's okay to fail. Um, so the topics I'm going to run through in this one is basically the topics that I found I needed to brush up on. So it was a, a good kind of technique really for me to create this video, but then also learn from it at the same time. So here's a link for the exam here. If you've seen some of my other certification videos, you'll see that I use MeasureUp for other exams. I didn't actually use MeasureUp uh, for this one. So I, I mainly just looked at Microsoft Learn um, and kind of yeah, did kind of revision around the topics that were given in this, in this document. So topic one, we have something called uh, Power Apps uh, Portals, but the security for the table permissions. So essentially there are five different um, access types. So global access, contact, account access, self access and parental. Uh, you do need to understand the differences between these and when you would use these. Uh, so quite typically you could get like a question or a case study and then you'd have to uh, essentially understand when you would use these different types. So I'm not gonna read what's on the screen. So you can kind of pause the video and have a look for yourself. Customer insights, uh, worth knowing what customer insights is. So it basically unifies all your data um, to generate AI. Um, and you can also understand customer behavior using digital and cross channel analytics. Cross channel being quite an important word there. Um, so a little bit of a hint and a tip there is that understand that customer insights can share data between different um, channels essentially. So you may get questions on those. Dual right, this is something that you need to know about. Um, so dual right is essentially um, an ability to, to use a near real time and bi-directional integration between finance and operations, apps and the common data service. Um, so know about different instances is when this can be used to help me uh, meet a, a request that needs to be done. Um, so yeah, have a, have a think about that, read up on it and make sure that you understand when that, that kind of opportunity presents itself in a question or in a case study. Business voice, there's also customer voice as well. So I, um, I've i just put business voice on this uh, particular slide, but customer voice is definitely something to look at. So business voice is basically, um, it, kind of, it turns Microsoft Teams into a, a, a flexible telephone service. So it essentially wraps the Microsoft 365 phone system features into a, a bundle um, and therefore you can use that to communicate uh, throughout your business. So do check that out, have a, a bit of a read on it and also look into customer insights um, as well as customer voice. Just make sure you know the differences and when to use them. And of course, understand what customer service is in, in Dynamics uh, 365 as well, so that you can easily um, not get muddled between the two or the three, four, as I was doing um, at the beginning when I was revising for this. Um, understand Dynamics 365 field services. Um, so the field service application essentially gives um, the ability for technicians kind of in the field to access the services, um, understand what tasks they have to do. They can communicate the on-time arrivals with customers, um, provide account history, um, account and equipment history even, uh, scheduling um, and avoiding equipment downtime through preventative maintenance. It's all about supporting the, the field workers um, out in the field, as the name suggests. So make sure you understand when it's appropriate to use the field service. So that's it for what I had on the slides. You'll see that I kind of concentrated more on the other areas of kind of Power Platform um, as opposed to your typical Canvas model-driven 
and um, even Power BI, that's kind of more common. So do check out my other videos, you know, looking at the, the PL100 video or the PL200 video is still going to be useful for this exam, um, even the PL900 video, because if you think about it, this exam kind of sits on top of all of them. So the understanding of all the other um, contents within the exam is also really important. I hope you enjoyed that. I hope it helped. I hope it helped someone out there. Good luck. And uh, don't forget to hit sub subscribe.